I don't know if this looks familiar to any of y'all, but I am at home in California right now. I actually came back a couple days ago because I have a three week break off for my Korean language program. And I decided that I wanted to come back to America to get my COVID vaccination just so I feel more safe when I do go back to Korea. Since my break is only three weeks and there is three weeks in between both of the Pfizer doses, I am gonna be staying here for around a month and then I'll be heading off back to Korea just so I have like my entire apartment as well as all of my language courses and everything and I'll continue making vlogs for you all. But I decided I still wanna vlog while I'm here in California because it's definitely a different vibe. There's a lot of things that I can do here that I couldn't really do in Korea or I'm not comfortable yet because of the language barrier. And I just wanna show you guys around SF Bay Area and what I do at home on a day-to-day -day basis. As for today, I already exercise in the morning. I am trying to be healthier and exercise more and I'm starving now. So I think I'm gonna make myself a quick yogurt slash overnight oats bowl. I was really looking forward to making this bowl last night. So very excited to be eating this. Last but not least, a drizzle of honey. Mm -hmm. So now that I'm done with my morning skincare, I actually am going to do a TikTok review or a couple of TikTok reviews on sunscreens and I'm going to do one today so that I can just try it on and then leave it on for the rest of the day. I'm trying to get back on my TikTok game so I'm trying to pre-film everything and edit it all at once just so I have something to post every single day because I have been a bit inactive on my socials just because of the whole coming back to America, finishing up finals and whatnot. I've just been super busy but now that it's basically break for me, I'm gonna get back on it and give you guys the content that you deserve. So I'm at Target now and I actually got an external hard drive because I actually have to submit something today and mail off to the brand. But before I leave Target, I actually have to check out my favorite section which is all the furniture, it's super aesthetic. And I kind of want something for my Korea apartment. Is that too extra to bring it all the way over to Korea? My dream is to have one of these in my kitchen, but alas, my kitchen is too small right now, so maybe someday. <laughs> oh my gosh, Target always has the cutest mugs. Like this. Why not? <laughs> So I just did my skincare and I got ready for the day because I just usually like to do this after I exercise. I wanted to share with you guys a couple of the skincare products that I've been using lately and I've been really loving, especially as we transition into the hotter months. So the three products I've been using are all from Hero Cosmetics and I just wanted to thank Hero Cosmetics for sponsoring today's vlog. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you guys know what Hero Cosmetics is. It's literally one of my favorite brands, especially when it comes to acne fighting or pimple patches. Like I literally talk about their pimple patches all the time and those are super awesome but i'm so glad they came out with skincare products because these are great for those of you who are struggling with acne or just overall texture and brightening up the skin this clear collective line is their most recent skincare line and it comes with three products the exfoliating jelly cleanser the balancing capsule toner as well as the clarifying prebiotic moisturizer this is a super simple and great skincare routine that i've been using day and night of course in the daytime i like to use a sunscreen as well i think this is really great for the hotter climates because it really does help regulate sebum production without being super stripping on your skin. As you guys know, I usually have really, really dry skin, but as I move to a more humid climate, it's gotten a lot more combination. I also struggle with a lot of texture on my skin and I'm especially scared to exfoliate too much because I have experienced over exfoliation and it's not fun, which is why, especially for the jelly cleanser, I love it because it's not stripping at all. Also, the consistency of this feels so nice on your skin after a long day. After that, I really like using this toner because I really 
really find that it helps hydrate and brighten my skin and I love how thick and viscous this is without feeling sticky on my skin. Last but not least, I'm almost done with this moisturizer but this is a clarifying prebiotic moisturizer. This is a super simple moisturizer that just doesn't irritate your skin and just feels really nice and locks in all of the other products that you use before that. So if you guys are interested in this collection or you're interested in any other of Hero Cosmetics products, I'll have my discount code up on the screen right here and also linked in the description box down below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. So this is my first time dining out since coming back and I am with Franny and Caroline. Hello! I can't believe um, indoor dining is allowed here because it's just so different, I don't know, from last time I was here. So excited to be eating Burmese food. Maybe one other thing? Yeah, with the tea leaves. With the tea leaves, yeah. Come and hike it up. So all of our food came pretty fast. This is the what is it? tea leaf salad. Yes, this is the most popular one. <laughs> Is the one I recommended. I'm so sorry, you ordered garlic noodle with chicken or something, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's plain, sorry. Oh, it's okay. Oh, just kidding. But that was supposed to be the garlic noodle with chicken. What is this one? This is a uh, basil and dried chili swai. Oh, swai. Okay. This is so this fish. fish. Yeah, this would probably go really well with this coconut rice. Thanks, Mom. It's always like the most popular one on the menu, or like mostly dino. Oh. We got the goods. We got the goods. Gotta come back for this. I'm glad we the all got 24 goods. ounces. Oh, yeah, we got it. It's Friday. Yeah. Go, I go. You also got the same, goes. right? You, this is also I got, jasmine. I got jasmine, but with very good. Oh, okay. And this oh, is a oh, strawberry oh. fresca. Yes. What is a strawberry fresca? Is it like a just like a juice, like a strawberry juice? I don't wanna. Maybe it's not to the people. <laughs> <laughs> don't wanna misinform <laughs> the people. <laughs> Currently making my Amazon returns at Kohl's. Just finished returning my Amazon items at Kohl's. And if you guys didn't know this, Kohl's actually allows Amazon returns without a box or a label. So if, if you can't be bothered by like printing all that out and stuff, I really recommend you find your local Kohl's location because it's super convenient. I actually don't really shop at Kohl's anymore, but apparently a lot of people do because there's always a lot of people inside like right now. Yeah, if you do live near Kohl's, I highly recommend it. And it's something that I didn't know about until maybe like a year or two ago. I've technically finished a lot of my errands now because I did my return at UPS as well as at Kohl's. So I think I'm gonna either go to a mall or somewhere like Safeway or Whole Foods because there are a couple of things that I wanna pick up. Maybe some things on my list that I'm trying to find but I'm not really sure if it's in any sort of supermarket. I didn't even know they had a Saint Laurent, but I guess this is new. There's always such a big line in like Gucci and all the other luxury designer places. Unfortunately, I was not able to find anything at the outlets for me. I did go into a couple stores, but there were so many lines to go into all the popular stores that I just thought it wasn't worth it. But I did do 2,000 steps there, so I'm hoping I can continue that because I want to go to the other mall in this area. Area? <laughs> area. So I'll go there after I stop by Whole Foods because I do want to see if they actually have built bars here because I see a couple influencers get sponsored by them and I just want to try one. I don't want to get an actual pack, so I have to find it somewhere in person. Also, I kind of miss Whole Foods slash Trader Joe's, so let's go on inside. So I did get a few things when I went shopping. I didn't get anything at the outlets, but I did grab a couple things at Whole Foods and I got a couple things from Lululemon as well as Sephora, so I wanted to share with you guys. So first off at Sephora, I actually already used these products because I couldn't wait and I was a little bit impatient, but I finally got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is the one that's super popular. It's been popular for a really long time, but I think it was always the price tag that deterred me from buying it because it is a pretty expensive foundation. I think it's over $60. 
but I decided to bite the bullet and get it because I love trying out new things and I'm always on the hunt for the best looking foundation and I'm wearing it today and I don't know if you can really tell because of this camera but it looks really good and really natural, really great for the summertime and I got this in a shade 4.5. I want to get this in store because I hate shade matching online, especially when they have so many options. So this is the one that's closest to me. So if you're a similar skin tone to me and you want to try this out, 4.5 is pretty good and it has neutral undertones. I also picked up this Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer and I saw this on TikTok and a lot of people like this, but I didn't get this because I wanted a bronzer. I actually want to use it as a cream contour. So I noticed that a lot of people when they cream contour, it looks a lot more natural than using a powder just because if you don't blend it out correctly it's a lot harder to make it seem natural so I got this shade this is in the shade one amber and this is the one that they pointed out at Sephora that is really good for contouring your face rather than bronzing it so it has a nice cool tone to it and super blendable I'm also wearing it today I don't know if you guys can tell but I think it offers a lot of like really nice definition to your face especially in person my problem with a lot of Korean foundations as well as contour palettes is that they're too light like even for me I don't think my shade is super dark but I usually wear the deepest shade in their foundation as well as their contour palettes and I find that a lot of contour palettes just aren't dark enough for me and they just seem more like skin powders that are like maybe one shade deeper than my actual skin tone and I don't like wearing foundation stuff that's lighter than my natural skin tone because I think it just doesn't wear off as nicely throughout the day so I needed to come back to get this bronzer slash contour. I also heard a lot of other great things about their cream cheek palettes, so you know cream makeup is all the hype nowadays. I got two things from Lululemon because in Korea, Lululemon is pretty expensive because it is an American brand, I believe, or is it Canadian? It's a North American brand, that's for sure, but it is significantly more expensive in Seoul, so I decided to grab a few more pieces while I'm here because I just noticed that I always go back to Lululemon whenever it comes to workout stuff, and I have been working out basically every single day now. So I got this sports bra, and it's like a long line sports bra, I think. This is called the... This is a Wonder Train long line bra, and it's made out of this really soft Everlux fabric. It's not super stiff, but it still feels supportive, and I really like the white tops and the black bottoms. Call me basic. I also got a pair of Align biker shorts because I love the Aligns, like just the regular leggings in general, but I thought the biker shorts would be nice, especially for the summer because it does get really hot, especially in Seoul, so... I think it'll be nice to wear to the gym. And these are just the Align 6 inch shorts. I'll have all these linked down below if you guys are interested. Okay, it might be kind of dark, but I'm currently out right now because I'm going to Sephora as well as Target and stuff to film some clips for a TikTok. There's Sephora. This mall is actually so nice now. It might seem a little overexposed but there's quite a lot of people here and there's like a little outdoor wine bar i think or slash restaurant next to equinox here i think i'm basically done here i looked at a couple of other stores but nothing was super interesting i feel like a lot of more stores will open up especially like shopping stores once the panini is over look at the sky whoa this looks fake <laughs> 